Are you interested in a battery technology that won't destroy the world? On this Uber Geek Uber Green episode of Gadget, we've got valence and our lithium ion phosphate technology. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at the Techstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balasar. I'm a Catholic priest in the Jesuits, the California province of the Society of Jesus, who has been missioned here to exile in lovely Hawaii at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Now, we've got a Uber Geek, Uber Green episode for you today, and it's unique because I'm not really reviewing a product as much as I'm reviewing a technology. Now, as I promised in the cold opening, we're looking at a technology that uh, won't destroy the world. If you've been paying attention to battery technology, you know that lithium-ion is, well, what we've got right now. It's, it's powering your iPod, it's powering your notebook, it's powering any of the little handheld devices that you may have. It's simply put, the best battery technology that we have out there. But there are a lot of disadvantages. You may remember the recalls from batteries exploding. Uh, they, the, the lithium ion chemistry tends to be a little bit unstable, and if it's not manufactured properly, you can get a runaway thermal reaction and instant crispy crater MacBook, Dell laptop, or iPod. You get the picture. Well, recently there has been an interest in some alternative technologies by a company called Valence. Valence is primarily a battery company. I mean, it's really all that they do. They provide cells for everything from solar panel installations to hybrid vehicles to, uh, well, external laptop batteries. So we're taking a look at one of their products that really doesn't show off the battery product itself as much as it shows off the technology. We've had a couple of months to play with this, and this is what we found. The Valence and charge is a universal power source for notebooks and notebook accessories. It's an 8-cell unit that is roughly 12 inches by 9 inches by half an inch and weighs about 1 and 3 quarter pounds. The size of the battery makes it quite easy to fit in a laptop bag next to a laptop which has the added benefit of providing another layer of protection for the computer. The Valence line of lithium-ion batteries is unique in that it uses a lithiated metal phosphate chemistry rather than the lithium cobalt or lithium manganese oxide formulations that are typical in most lithium-ion batteries. This type of battery has a slightly lower energy density and provides less voltage than other lithium-ion chemistries, but that lower capacity comes with quite a few advantages. First, lithium phosphate batteries can provide more current than other lithium-ion cells, meaning that they can provide more energy in a shorter period of time. Secondly, lithium phosphate batteries do not explode or experience the thermal runaway reactions that have resulted in the recall of millions of lithium-ion batteries around the world. Third, lithium phosphate cells weigh less than their counterparts and could technically be cheaper in volume once their production ramps up. Finally, and perhaps most importantly in today's uber green world, lithium phosphate batteries do not contain the heavy metal toxins that are common in other lithium ion products. This makes them much more environment friendly than their counterparts. In many ways, Valence has adopted the only true green battery technology. The battery itself has a 5 LED indicator on the front panel, which provides a way of quickly checking battery capacity while also letting the user know when the unit is being recharged. A small recess button below the LED activates the lights and gives battery status. The end charge can provide 16 to 24 volts of power through the high power port and 12 volts through the accessory port. The battery that we received was the VNC130 which has a 10 amp hour 130 watt hour capacity but there's also a smaller 5 amp hour 60 watt hour unit. Connecting the end charge to a laptop requires a specific charging module. Valence sells a wide array of modules for the various makes of laptop. You purchase the module for your laptop and clip it onto the high voltage port of the battery. The module houses all the circuitry needed to send the proper voltage to the laptop as well as a pass-through design in which the existing power adapter is connected to the module and the module is then connected to the laptop. This system removes the possibility of incorrectly setting voltages or polarity, 
Quite simply, there's no way to incorrectly plug in the battery. At the bottom of the unit is the accessory port. Using another module, the end charge can supply lower voltages to charge cell phones, power personal electronic devices, and otherwise provide power for most any device the user might have. The 130 was easy to set up. We literally had the battery out of the box, connected to the provided module and charging within 30 seconds. Charge time was relatively short. We were able to charge the battery from total depletion to full in an average time of about 96 minutes, with the first charge leaning towards 2 hours and each subsequent charge taking between 75 and 100 minutes. The notebook modules were easy to install, requiring only a snap-on connection to the battery. We quickly moved between the two different Dell power modules we had and the IBM ThinkPad module, as well as using the low voltage accessory port to provide 12 volt power to several devices simultaneously. We tested the 130 with a Dell Latitude D410. This ultra portable notebook has a 12.1 inch screen, P4M CPU, 2 GB memory, and 7200 RPM hard drive. We ran the battery through 100 charge and discharge cycles to get a good feel for how the valence chemistry would hold up to real world usage. Battery performance varied widely according to the desktop laptop settings. When running the notebook in full power saving mode, CPU put into the lower power mode, LCD on medium brightness, external DVD RW disconnected, and the wireless system off, we were able to consistently get a remarkable 12 hours of power from the 130 before the laptop switched to internal battery. With the LCD at maximum brightness, the 802.11b and eVDO wireless enabled, CPU maxed and pegged at 100%, and the docking station with DVD-RW attached, our power life fell between 4 and 6 hours. As far as protecting the longevity of the end charge when not in use, Valen suggests that the end charge be filled to capacity every few months to preserve the lithium-ion chemistry. The cycle life is 600 cycles for 70% of capacity, meaning that you can expect to have 70% of the original capacity of the battery after 600 charges and discharges. The Valence End Charge VNC-130 is available online for $290. Now, I'm a big fan of Valence's technology. Not just because I think it's the way to go. I mean, even with the lower power density, I think the more stable chemistry is just going to prove to be very useful, especially as we move to electric vehicles. I mean, you're not going to want a hybrid car filled with lithium-ion batteries that might accidentally explode if they're bumped. I mean, can you say Electro-Nova? Well, in the case of Valence's technology, I mean, this is more of a test bed. They've really just sort of been showing that their chemistry is stable, that it works properly, and that uh, they've been able to turn it into a product. But they don't really want to design units like the N-Charge. They want to license their technology to other designers who will integrate it into laptops and notebooks. And we're starting to see that. As far as the Valence VNC-130 is concerned, unfortunately, I can't really recommend it. I like the technology, I think it's a great product, but there have been too many uh, online discussions of, of problems. Everything from, from cells that weren't properly installed to the fact that the clip doesn't really stick. I mean, this thing kind of goes on, but it's very easy to pull it off. To the fact that they've designed their charging circuitry so that when you plug this into your laptop, it doesn't actually charge the laptop. It, it just powers the AC circuitry. Now, they say that's a design choice because they want to efficiently use the power and it's not efficient to charge one battery with another, but I would at least like that option. I think what we see with this is that this is a good first effort, but it's not something that's for mass consumption, especially at a price of $300, when I could buy a similar powered unit from APC for, for half the cost, I can't really recommend this. But what I can recommend is the company itself. Valence as the leader in this lithi lithiated metal phosphate technology has a head start and it will continue to lead in these alternate lithium ion chemistries. Even though they're more expensive right now, if we can get enough interest into these, we can start developing technologies that have really, really high power densities without having to use those dangerous heavy metals that will honestly destroy the planet. If you'd like to support the green movement, if you want to power your laptop, if you're not willing, if you're not worried about paying a little bit too much, a, a little premium to do that, then you may want to check out the Valence N Charge, the VNC 130. If that's not your cup of tea, but you're still interested in their technology, may I suggest that you go to the Valence website at www.valence.com and just check out what they're working on. 
They might have something for your project or for your future endeavor. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you'd like to find out more about the N-Charge, including our full write-up, you can go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find all of our episodes in high resolution. If you want to write us to either suggest a product for future review or to ask questions about any of the products that we've already reviewed, you can always write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs>